Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. Boss React to this vid by Stack Hub. It's titled Artists That Would Be Nothing Without TikTok. Damn. Damn. Uh, let's see uh, who they have on this vid, who they talk about. Is that Central C in the thumbnail? DG? Damn. People are on his head. That's play. Anyway, let's see uh, what they gotta say. Let's watch. When I create, I'm not thinking. I'm just feeling the vibe. You feel me? Choke up! Pick the flow up! Froze up! He just froze up! Is it just me, or has anyone else noticed a decline in quality of more and more current music? I think this has something to do with TikTok being a very powerful tool to blow up songs. But all TikTok needs is a halfway decent 15 to 30 second portion of a song. This leads to artists focusing less on making a good record as a whole, and more towards having one good song to blow up on TikTok or something of the sort. Those are the kind of this Reddit user, by the way. I just repeated them to segue into... Following the colossal success of Lil Nas X's Old Town Road with no major label backing it at the time, labels, musicians on the rise, and veteran artists saw how easy it could be to achieve massive billboard success with the following tools. A catchy snippet, a viral trend using said snippet, and TikTok's manipulative algorithm. Now, TikTok aiding songs reach massive heights can be a great thing, but when the records being made are purposely iPhone heights toward uncreative AI, yeah, when short thing blew up again, I was like, TikTok gear A double F. It takes the artistic expression, timelessness, and quality away from the music. In terms of the artists in this tweet, the only one that wouldn't be seeing success without TikTok is Miss. <laughs> Cause if we keep it a crack, her music is. <laughs> who, I don't know who that is. First song I heard from Drake was successful. When I heard it, I'm like, the dude from the grass, he used to wig it like this. And then he put out more music. I'm like, oh, I might be a fan now. And I think about that every time when people look at me as a YouTube rapper or whatever. <coughs> it's like, if he can do it and be at the top for 10 years. Who says I can't? The creator of this tweet should have swapped the kid Leroy with DDG because even with TikTok, the music still flops because yeah. it's mid, bro. Like, instead of being messy, he should be using that energy to work on perfecting his craft. Drake didn't evolve into a rap rock star rapping like, I'm on a whole nother level, I'm geeking. You think you feel with me, boy? You tweet, bitch, should I? Boo. Niggas on DDG head now. I feel like it's because of Holly. People are mad <laughs> about uh about the situation with Holly, so they ain't fuck with him. Okay, I'm rewinding this video to go back and look at that tweet. Okay, they got uh uh ooh, why is her name escaping me? Ice Spice on here. Mm, I agree with that. I don't know who that redhead is. I don't know who that white girl is. Doja. TikTok wasn't even popping when Doja came out, but that Bitch I'm a Cow song is what put her on the map. And pe that went viral, and then people started taking her seriously. So without that song and her trolling, I agree that I don't think she would have been nearly as big. People probably wouldn't have even paid her much mind, to be honest. Um, so there's that. Uh, that's that Lacey nigga. Uh, sure, I don't know anything else about him. Don't know who those people are in the next box. Kid Leroy. Uh, I mean, he, he got a couple songs that I like. I don't know much about his music or him, but he, he has a couple songs that I think sound decent. But are they great? No. And I don't know who those other people are. Is that Kid? Kid Pink. Is that Blackpink? That might be Blackpink, bitch. K-pop people, they in a whole nother category. I wouldn't even put them on this list at all. But um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a fact that TikTok blows up a lot of artists. Um, people like a song or two from clips on TikTok and then that artist does get a certain level of popularity. But I will say that it does not necessarily equal success as we have seen with uh, Coyle Ray. Um, she has gone viral many times on TikTok. People always are, you know, playing her little, uh, her little sounds or whatever, her little songs on there, but it's not translating to sales. So, yeah, there's that. So these people are, 
uh, getting popular from these TikTok uh, sounds and songs, but it doesn't mean that they're getting successful per se. You feel me? But anyway, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!